up to it. I keep my shoes out here in the vestibule and some damn thing has eaten my shoelace so now this is the part that bothers me the worst right here this eye this is not good and they started eating over here too Means I'm on video, I won't say what I want to say. And they ate that piece. Personally, I wish they were in the shoe. Because then I could square up with what I want to do to this thing that ate my shoelace. Fortunately, I have a spare shoelace now. I gotta unpack everything and find it. Because these are usually the last things I do. Just put on my shoe. Now I might have to call up for my other pair of shoes sooner. Guess what Jersey learned? I will be sleeping with my shoes inside the tent from now on. A little better. The lace isn't quite as long as the other one. I was kind of guessing when I bought it, what length to get. Lesson learned. Never trust the mouse. I'll get even when I get back to my house. Hey, that rhymes. Well, good morning everybody. Again, after the mouse attack I had last night, apparently. Unknowing to myself. Chewed my laces and something. Try to start chewing a few couple little spots in my court. Little suckers. So now I keep everything in the tent. And then they penetrate the tent. And they wake me up. Good. We'll square up then. So, looks like the weather looks pretty nice. You can also look, the terrain looks kind of high. We do have a bunch of elevation today. Uh, I don't know where if Dob made it into town and then back out he didn't he didn't go to the campsite he might have pushed on it was like a mile and a half to uh, um, mile and a half to the uh, next shelter so he might have went up there I didn't have any steam left in me did 20.1 miles yesterday and uh, that's all she wrote for me but I was good with that I just realized a little chew to the strap on the pole, which is a pain in the ass, because now you really use them straps to... Oh. <clears throat> well. Yeah, it's down there. There's James River off, off in the distance. We're climbing this big mountain. Oh boy. Stairs. One rock scrambling. Okay, after I get up this, I'm turning it off. Oh, cool. I gotta get a still of that. Beautiful. Thank you, baby. Alright. 
up and away. Great view though, man. Hmm. All right, getting near the top of this particular here mountain. Yeah, see that's the strap that freaking mouse cut in half. Sucker. Still windy. Coming up to a nice view. Hell yeah. Cool, man. Hope the color's coming out on that. That green is pretty cool looking. Thank you everybody, especially you Sean. Just woke up on this here view, probably going to look similar to the other one, but it's a view. Hmm. Here's the footbridge way down there. It's basically I can't really see my finger, but see the footbridge somewhere right in there. And I camped not too far to the right of that. So I've walked all the way around and up over this way. All right, outstanding. That's that spot where the, the little girl strayed and got lost, and I guess she died up here a long time ago. Like there used to be a fire tower here with all these mountain cement. It looks like to me is a nice seat. Wow, great view. just uh, scared me. It was like 10 feet from me. There he is right there. He doesn't think I can see him. It's dark brown. And he'll move from the back there. Hey. Yeah. You. I see you. Oh. There's another one. I didn't see that one. I see you. Give me it. Give me it. Yeah, you. Give me it. Come on. Smile free camera. Come on. All right, move you along along. I forgot to mention the milestone for today is the 800 mile mark, which I am within a couple tenths of a mile of reaching. So I'm on the lookout. Sometimes you can get walk right on by these things. Sometimes they're obvious. But today's been pretty decent. Um, no issues. Had a couple big climbs. 
one real big one in the beginning. Got through it, took me a while. You want to do it? I get down here and try and find a tent site after this 800 mile mark, which I got to start really paying attention. So I'm alive on this.